Welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. So in today's video, it's going to be my master bedroom and bathroom suite tour. So a few weeks ago, you guys know if you watch my videos that I did some home decor shopping. And so I've started decorating our apartment. And so just wanted to kind of show you guys how I've been decorating. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the master bedroom and bathroom tour. So here we go. So this is the view when you're walking in from the door. This bedroom connects to the dining room and then to the living room. But this is how it looks when you first walk in. So I'm just gonna kind of walk in now. And then over to the side here is our window. We don't have any curtains on there. I'm thinking about getting some white curtains just to kind of soften the room up a little bit. And then here is our bed. This is a queen size bed here. And then we have my side of the bed right here. Then as you go up, there is the painting that you guys would have seen in my last um, home decor haul video. And then across the way is my husband's side of the bed. So um, let's just go ahead and talk a little bit about a few things here. So on the sides of the walls, I just put two little picture frames up here of us and then on the other side here I just have two more pictures in frames up here and then on this side my side of the bed I just have my mirror up here that I got from Walmart for $20 it kind of has like a that it's kind of like a goldish silverish finish on there it's really pretty and then we just have these lamps here that I got from Ross for $29.99. Then this flower arrangement right here, I also got that from Ross for $7.99. Then I have this um, kind of jewelry box mirrored here that I also got from Ross. I think that was really pretty. I love how it has like the gold sparkly detail on it. And then here I just have my laptop and my iPhone. And then this right here is my nightstand. I don't really like it. I think it looks kind of old looking. So I'm trying to figure out what to do to kind of modernize it a bit. I'm thinking about possibly spray painting it white. But uh, I'm not too sure yet what I'm going to do. And then here is our bed, these pillows right here, this one, and it's the same one over there. Got those from Ross quite recently for $10.99 each. They're very soft. I really like how it has this pattern on it. And these details right here is kind of like a shiny off-white threading. Thought that was really pretty. Then the pillow in the middle is my husband's pillow that he got from his mom elephants on there and then these sheets are also quite new we got them as a wedding present from my sister-in-law my husband's sister and then we just have some regular pillows just at the back and then of course the bed frame i think i want to spray paint it white just to give it more of a modern look I think it looks pretty minimal, but if I were to spray paint it white, I think that would be really pretty. And then on my husband's side of the bed is the same mirror that I have on my side. It's the exact same lamp that I have on my side. And then I just have this plant here that I got from Ross for about $7.99. And then here are just the remotes, his sunglasses. Once again, I think I'm going to spray paint this little nightstand and table it looks like it's already been spray painted a bit but i think i want to go ahead and spray paint it white and then over here to the side is our dog's bed it's just a bed and then we just put like an old pillow that we don't really use anymore so this is thunder's bed right here over here this is the door to our closet this is my jewelry armoire that i've shown in my other videos if you guys want to see what's inside, just go ahead and click on my jewelry storage collection clean out video. And then here is my closet. I'm going to get to that in a little bit. But right now, if you keep going, this is the other side of our wall right here that connects to the bathroom. 
this painting in the middle my husband's friend painted it and gave it to him some people say it actually looks like me um and Neytiri from Avatar <laughs> um but I think it's a really cute painting and then I just have two pictures on the side one of my mom and then one of my husband and I then down here I have this orchid plant fake plant that I got from Ross then moving down I got these three storage boxes from Hobby Lobby and then this pretty tufted bench right here it's kind of an off-white color I got that from one of my really good friends it was a wedding present this was one of the um, this was one of the things on our registry and so she got that for us I thought that was really really nice of her and her husband to get that for us I thought that was so beautiful it would go so nicely in our bedroom And then here's the entrance to our bathroom. I'll get to that a little bit later. And then on this side, I just have a trash can, my flip flops, and this is my husband's guitar stand. Moving over, we have our dresser that we got from Ikea. These are actually two dressers that we put together beside each other. So it kind of looks like one big dresser. I'm considering spray painting this white as well. I think the black color in here is a bit too harsh for the space. I was also considering making my DIY mirrored furniture. April B, another YouTuber, has a really good tutorial on how to DIY that really expensive looking mirrored furniture. So I was going to consider doing that as well, but I think for sure I am gonna paint it because this black is just too harsh harsh for me I like you know light colors and things like that so I'm probably gonna just end up painting that white or doing the um, DIY mirrored furniture and then here on top of it we just have some cute little knickknacks over to the back is my fedora and then I just have a picture of my husband and I a little birdie that I got from Hobby Lobby this was like three dollars something like that then this nice little succulent plant I got from Marshalls for $4.99 each. Then I just have this jewelry box right here that kind of holds all my little junk and knickknacks and things like that. So I think it's a good way to store things beautifully without cluttering your place. It's kind of dusty. Here are some more succulents, another birdie. And then another picture of my husband and I, and then a flower arrangement that I got from Ross a few weeks ago. And then in this corner, we just kind of have this like lawn chair or whatever you call these things. Um, it's just kind of serving as a catch-all for now. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that yet, but that's just kind of tucked away in the corner serving as a catch-all. And then on the ground we have this little rug right here it's actually not a rug it's a throw blanket but I kind of ruined it because if you can see right here you see that discoloration right there well I accidentally dropped my curling wand and it kind of burnt it a little bit and then I've washed it over and over again so it's not really that soft anymore so I kind of just use it as a rug for now and then uh, when I get a different color or one that I like better I'm just gonna replace it so now let's go ahead into the closet so this is the master bedroom closet but it's only my things that are in here none of my husband's things are in here except for a few shoes like those shoes down there those are his shoes but for the most part everything in here is mine and then I made him take the smaller closet in our guest bedroom so he's using that small closet and I took over this massive closet so I just have my pants hung up here and then further down I just get into skirts and then some dresses and then some longer sundresses and then of course my shoes I've got shoes up here you guys know how much shoes I have because you've seen my uh, shoe collection video but this is how I store them. I'm thinking about getting those like Ikea shells just so I can kind of um, store them outside of the boxes. 
this is my wedding dress right here it's just hanging in the closet now because you only wear your wedding dress for one day and then it just stays in the closet for the rest of your life <laughs> but uh here are more of my shoes some of these shoes i got recently like in the last video that i did um and then i just have some like blazers and jackets here and then um I just have like my shirts and things like that here and then up here I just have some of my handbags that are in their dust bags and then I have some more and then I just have some more down here because I don't have space to store them up above and then over here I just have some um, handbags that I have over here and as big as this closet is believe it or not I actually do still need a bigger closet like I I just feel like a lot of my stuff is really cramped in there so I need a bigger closet actually so um, maybe when we get a house I'm gonna turn one of the bedrooms into a closet that's my hope for right now Okay, so now let's walk into the bathroom. Just give you a quick little overview. This is the vanity area here. Nice long vanity. Toilet. Bathtub. Laundry bin. Okay, so let's start from over here. So obviously this is my side of the vanity, but I've kind of it kind of stretches all the way down. So I've taken up like most of the vanity, just like I did the closet. Um, so over here I just have some of my favorite perfumes here, and then I just have some of my lipsticks on this side. Most of them are Milani lipsticks. My perfumes. And then I just have my retainer right here. Then this is my sink. I just have my face wash, our soap dispenser, and my toothbrush holder. I got this holder from Home Goods a few weeks ago. I thought it was really pretty. Then over here I just have uh, my makeup storage. This is actually two different units, these top two boxes here I got well all of this I got from the container store years ago but these two were two separate boxes and then this and then this part right here was its own unit so I don't remember how much it costs I actually need to get a new one so I'm looking into that then we just have this middle portion right here where I keep my nice little plant got that from Ross as well for $12.99 then this white mug it says moi on it I just have my makeup brushes you can't really see it tucked away but inside here is this vase that I got from Hobby Lobby and then I just put some more combs in there and then this owl I got that from Ross we put our q-tips in there just have some makeup on top of here some lotion then we get to his side of the vanity we have or he has the same soap dispenser on my side the same toothbrush holder and then over here he just has some of his things his blow dryer our toothpaste and just little things here and there so that's his side I love the vanity it's a nice long vanity that can accommodate most of my things and then on the walls we just have some pictures of us that I put up then down here we have this basket that we got from his mother we just use it to put our toilet paper rolls so that we have them handy and then you know just a toilet I don't know toilets not very special but this flower arrangement I got that from Ross as well I showed that in my other haul um, and then our shower curtains our carpets 
my little rugs, trash can. Uh, those are all from Ross. And then one thing I actually don't really like about this bathroom is that there's really not a lot of storage. So we have to kind of hang our towels on the doors, but you know, whatever. Then when you come in here to our closet, we just have a bunch of things that we use. Hair products, bathroom products my feminine products, fresh towels, the dog's towels, sheets, and then this is just the dog's um, little bin of toys and things like that. So just a regular storage cabinet there, nothing special. I do need to get some organizer so that I can organize it a little bit better. It is kind of messy in there, but we'll get to that. So yeah, that's pretty much our master bedroom bathroom tour. For you guys I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you have any decorating suggestions for me if you have any decorating tips I would be more than happy to hear them I am quite the novice at decorating and I want to get better at it so if you do have any suggestions for me I'm all ears but thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, please come back in a timely fashion.